morning students our today's topic of discussion would be question and answers from the chapter 11 which is the earth and its neighbors let us start with tick the correct answer the first option is the sun is a constellation planet star or satellite so students this is the image of the sun now we have to identify what is sun sun is it a constellation is it a planet star or satellite the correct answer would be star the sun is a star second question this planet was discovered after the invention of telescope this is the image of that particular planet and the options are mercury venus mars or neptune what is the correct answer the correct answer is neptune neptune was discovered after the invention of telescope because it is the farthest planet that we know okay next question this is the largest and fastest spinning planet and this is the image of that planet can you see the image and the options are jupiter venus uranus neptune what should be the correct answer the correct answer is jupiter okay so the jupiter is the largest and the fastest spinning planet fourth question this planet is boiling hot by day and freezing cold at night and the options are earth mars mercury neptune and this is the image of that particular planet have you identified correct the answer is mercury mercury is very hot during the day time and it is freezing cold at night so students with that we have arrived on fifth mcq this planet has rings which are made of ice rocks and dust and this is the profile of that particular planet have you identified the planet over here you will find the name of that planet correct the answer is saturn okay and the last mcq this can be active dormant or extinct the options are tsunami sun volcano planet and what is the correct answer can you see the image what do we call this right the answer is volcano students now let us check match the columns in column a we have our galaxy planet nearest to sun equator moon core and complete revolution of the earth around the sun and in column b we have mercury innermost portion of the earth natural satellite of the earth solar year the milky way imaginary line dividing the earth in two equal halves okay so let us match now our galaxy matches with milky way then planet nearest to the sun planet nearest to the sun is mercury then what is equator equator is a imaginary line dividing the earth into equal halves then what is moon moon is the natural satellite of earth and what is core core is the innermost portion of the earth and what is complete revolution of the earth around sun called we call it as solar year now let us check the answers if we have done this correctly our galaxy e milky way planet nearest to the sun mercury equator imaginary line dividing the earth in two equal halves moon natural satellite of the earth core innermost portion of the earth and complete revolution of the earth around the sun is called solar year so we were correct okay now let us move on to short answers in that the first question is name some indian festivals that are linked to the seasons here we have baisakhi onam pongal bihu and lohri these are linked to the seasons then second short the answer name the imaginary line that runs through the center of the earth the answer is axis the axis is the imaginary line that runs to the center of the earth well students this is the image of the axis as you can see here okay this is the axis that runs through the center of the earth okay let us move on to the next short answer which movement of the earth is called rotation well the movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation okay next is the long answer answer this questions what is the difference between star and planet the first difference is stars are incredibly hot having high temperature to them 
whereas planets on the other hand have relatively low temperature. They are objects that produce their own light and do not rely on external source for production of light, whereas planets are incapable of producing their own light. So that was point number two. Then point number three, stars have a unique effect of twinkling in the sky, whereas planets do not exhibit the twinkling effect. Then the last point, the stars change their positions but can be seen only after long time due to substantial distance, whereas planets in the orbit on their own axis change their position constantly. Okay. Second question, what do we mean by solar system? Well, the sun and the eight planets revolving around it along with their satellites make up a solar system. Then third question, what is satellite? Name any two satellite launched by India. So, this is the image of the satellite. Well, satellites are small heavenly bodies that revolve around planets. Aryabhat, Bhaskar, one are a couple of satellites launched by India. Last question for the day, how are seasons formed? Well, the answer is the earth's tilted axis causes the seasons. Throughout the year, different parts of the earth receive the sun's most direct rays. So, when the north pole tilts towards sun, it's summer in northern hemisphere. And when the south pole tilts towards sun, it's winter in the northern hemisphere. Okay, so this is how seasons are formed on earth. Well, students, thank you for attending this session. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.